Yo, uh, my name is Jack. I'm the creator of the Zap Lightning Network Wallet. And today I wanted to record some tutorial videos on how to use Zap. You know, Zap is built to take all the technical babble and confusing stuff and try and turn it into a nice clean interface for everyone to use. Um, but we're all still learning, including the Zap contributors. So I thought it'd be helpful if I just walk you guys through you know, downloading Zap and going all the way through the initial sync process, all the way to sending and receiving payments on the Lightning Network, just in case anyone gets stuck along the way. So I have a Zap release downloaded for Mac. Uh, I can just simply double click. Um, we should all be familiar with this screen, at least for Mac. Um, you can just take the application. Oops, you can just drag it over to Applications folder. Um, and it will start to copy it. And as soon as it's done copying, uh, we can open. So I'm going to use Spotlight. And I can just search for Zap. Here it is. You can click Enter. Um, and it should launch. And here what you're seeing, I'm going to go full screen here, is uh, just the loading screen for Zap. So right now, um, you can see that we're loading in the top right. So if we hover over here, it's syncing the Lightning Network node that Zap is packaged with to the blockchain. And then you can see below, it has generated a Bitcoin address for us. So the sync process originally should take no more than you know five or ten minutes, depending on your internet connection. It can be a bit longer. Um, there's just some fun little facts uh, while you wait that you know have to do with the Lightning Network. And then at the bottom here, you can see that you can fund your Zap wallet. So deposit to your wallet while your node is syncing, so Autopilot can start working magic for you. So really quick note on Autopilot. Autopilot is a super duper cool feature um, that's packaged with LND. So LND, the Lightning Network daemon, is the uh, Lightning Network implementation that Zap is built on top of, uh, built by Lightning Labs. And Autopilot is just a really quick plug and play way for uh, your node to automatically manage its channels. So it'll open channels for you. It has some built-in logic and some really fancy stuff to help the onboarding process become a bit quicker so you don't have to mentally manage you know, the idea of peers and channels or what in Zap we call contacts all by yourself. Especially on Testnet, it's a really cool and easy way to get up and running on the Lightning Network. So what we're going to do is Zap has generated an address for us and all Autopilot needs is some Bitcoin. So to be able to use the Lightning Network, you just need a machine and some Bitcoin. So I'm going to copy the address. I'm going to go to a testnet faucet. I simply have to paste the address in, confirm that I am a human, and uh, I can say, give me some coins. And we can see that it's a valid address. We have a testnet transaction that I can paste into a testnet explorer, and boom, zero confirmations. So we'll wait for a conf. But this way, while we're waiting for sync, at least we can, you know, onboard some Bitcoin onto Zap, deposit some Bitcoin onto Zap. So as soon as we're all synced, uh, we're good and ready to go. So cool. I will not uh, bore you all with the rest of the 70%. So I'll catch you when we're fully synced.